Good morning, Ernie. not feeling much like getting to work this morning. Working in that heat really takes it out of me. And now I got a nice foggy morning. Ah, well, we'll try to get something done. I didn't accomplish much after lunch yesterday, but I cleaned up my job site here, went and purchased some material. I could come over here and see about installing the first couple of pieces of uh, siding. This is an eight foot section here that I could probably handle these myself. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I got plenty to do without working in the sunshine over here. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is uh, cut the rest of these eight foot lengths, stack them up, and uh, they'll be ready to put in either this evening or tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, because it's going to warm up fast out here now. And I'm getting tired of working in the heat. Well, today is the sixth day working on this project. Um, yeah, I had to take a day off yesterday just because I had to do something else. Give myself some time to rest, relax, take it easy, kick the feet up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're into some hot weather and it takes its toll. So I took a day off. Hey, you guys, turn around. You're showing us you're behind. He's wearing a tag in the ear like the cows do. But today, I think I'm finally going to tackle this door over here, tearing that out, um, and we'll at least get get that done. It's supposed to get pretty hot today, uh, but we'll do a little bit each day and just keep this project moving along. That wasn't too hard to do. A little bit messy, but uh, got it out of there. And now I can see the original construction. And uh, I can get a better idea of how I'm gonna design this. See how they built that against the original siding. This used to be just this open breezeway. That's the original header up there. I don't have to rebuild another header, even though I'm gonna come down, you know, I don't know, eight or 10 inches from that for the new door. And it was built against the original siding here. From the inside, you can see too, you know, how that header is constructed. It must go in farther and sit on um, some post or something back farther in the wall. I'll cut this siding back and we'll see. Uh, I'm going to cut this siding back to the width of the framing here. I'll put just a 2x4 on that side. I want to get this door moved over as far to that side as possible. Because of that step down there, there's no reason to center it up on the opening here. Um, keep the door over to my right side over here, and that'll give me the best uh, clearances. 
cutting the siding away there is some framing which is nice that's good so I can line up with that framing that gap there is what I was feeling on this side is solid solid framed so great I can uh, secure directly to those studs I decided to put this together with construction screws. I didn't want to drive nails in this old dry lumber. So it's getting a little warm out here and I'm going to call it good for the day or at least, uh, I don't know, maybe this afternoon, evening, when it starts cooling down I'll do a little more. So um, yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit and call it good. Well, today is day seven, I think, on this little project and uh, I'm going to take it kind of easy today and have some fun with this. Um, my plan here is to get my door jam in and hang my door and I should be able to accomplish that. I got my door leaning over here so I can get measurements on the hinge butts and the location on the jam. Got my jam stock here ready to lay it out and uh, yeah we're just gonna set up here and go to work on getting the Hinges cut in, size that jam, and then get it all into place. So I have my jam stock cut, but before I assemble this, what I want to do is dap my hinges into this rail. Um, yeah, I got these new hinges. They match what's on the door. And so I'm going to transfer the measurements from the door directly to this jam. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out my door alignment in the jam. And I'm going to put a mark here. This is... Uh, simulating where the header of the the jam is and then I've got to add an eighth inch clearance Let's see I'll put it out here near the edge right there 
I'm I'm using a scratch all. You probably can't see that on the camera. So let me darken it with a pencil. A scratch all provides you know a finer line for um, a carpenter, but hopefully you can see that on the camera. And then I align this up with my door. Now I'm just going to transfer over the hinge location. Let's see, I'll do it on that side so I can kind of feel, make sure that's lined up. And I'll put a mark there. I only need to mark the top because I'm going to use the hinge plate as a template. and Put the hinge plate on here and mark out the rest. Transfer that measurement. That's how deep the hinge plates can sit into the hand, into the jam. Okay, that's where the hinges are going to get mounted. So I've transferred my jam to my workbench here where I can clamp it firmly and I'm just going to chisel this out. Now I know a lot of you like to buy tools and have routers and you know there's nothing wrong with that. This is the old world way and uh, you know by the time you get the router set up you get a jig set up on here work all that out. Uh, you know, one of these old world craftsmen can have the job done. long time since I've put a door in but I think I got it. I got everything aligned. I've got a nice consistent reveal down the strike on the door. Uh, I had a little trouble with these shims falling out on me as I was driving in the nails but um, yeah we've got it all in place. The header's level. Everything swings nicely. 
I'll have to put in some more nails to be sure that's secure and I'll get more shims behind it but everything's in place here that's it I'm good works well I'm gonna call it quits for the day looks like it's about 90 degrees out here and uh, I think I've done enough for one day